everybody, it's the Chronicles of Kier coming to you once again. Hey, I figured I'd put together uh, my first around of town video. I uh, had some errands to do today. So, uh, you know, stuff like Target. I gotta go return a shirt to Target. I don't know what it is with Target, but their, their shirt sizes for some reason. Eh, turn this down a little bit. I'm sorry, I apologize for uh, the music, but today is the 25th anniversary of Ghostbusters, a silver anniversary ago, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I have to go to Target and let's see here, the post office to mail off uh, some packages and pick up some packages. Uh, but getting back to what I was saying about Target, for some reason, their uh, shirt sizes run two sizes below what they're supposed to be. Um, what I mean is, like, I yesterday I had went over there and I bought a, um, a Ghostbusters t-shirt that I had been wanting for a long time. And every time I go in there, they never have my size. Well, I, uh... What's this guy doing? Well, anyway, I went in there, bought a double XL shirt, and come, I came home and tried it on and it didn't fit. So I'm like, what the heck? So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, you know what? This shirt rise, run like two sizes below. So the shirt really fit me like a, like a large shirt would have. So I don't know, it's really weird. I don't know what's with Target, but they have some really nice shirts and it's really unfortunate. So either one of two things has to happen. Either I have to freaking lose weight, which I should do anyway, or I uh, should just, uh, they should either get some shirts that are a little bit bigger in size. So uh, I'm gonna put you guys on standby for right now because as you see, I am at the, uh, the post office. I just arrived, so, okay? So I'm gonna put you on pause and I'll uh, be back in a little bit. Okay, everybody, I'm back. After a 20-minute wait in the post office, it's really ridiculous, man. For the size of this post office that we have here, it's only like, um, only has like one clerk inside at the desk. But what the thing is is that people seem to show up uh, right before noon. Because, see, at noon, they close for like an hour for lunch. Yeah, I guess that's rural Pennsylvania for you. You know, there's hardly anything or anybody out here. But, um... Yeah, so I'm on my way over to Target now to return this shirt. And uh, hopefully I can get a bigger size. If not, then I guess I'm asked out of a Ghostbusters tee. And I'll just have to go on to uh, probably 80stees.com uh, and see if I can order one. Yeah, I really want one. But uh, if I can't get one, oh well. What are you going to do, you know? Uh, but yeah, like I was saying before, this is the uh, silver anniversary of Ghostbusters, 25th anniversary. And I'll tell you, it's the first movie that I was ever introduced to in my life. Um, I went to go see it at Seaview Square Mall in uh, Neptune, New Jersey. Um, back in 1984, I believe it was. And it was the first movie that I had ever gone to in a movie theater. Ever. When I say ever, I mean ever. That was my first time ever being in a movie theater. I was a kid at the time. Like I said, it was 1984 when the, when the film came out. And um, I went to go see the movie, fell in love with it greatest thing that I ever saw hit the silver screen and I still love it to this day um, actually my dad introduced me and my brother to it he was a, uh, a cop in New York City at the time and uh, he, he told me the story many times uh, he said that he was walking around the city you know doing his patrol on his beat and stuff like that and he said they would release like teaser posters leading up to the release of the movie and um, he said the first poster he saw was like you know with, with the familiar white ghost with the with the red um, you know, uh, symbol cross out through it. And then he said the next poster had the same symbol on it, but at the bottom they added, uh, who are you gonna call? And it said something about coming summer of 84. And he said to himself, oh man, you know, this is something that my guys would like, you know, talking about me and my brother. So he comes home with these two children's books, you know, like with pictures from like the movie. And I remember laying my eyes on, on this, this, creature that I called the red-eyed dog, which is, you know, known as Zool, of course, uh, but I didn't know that at the time. I was, I was a kid, you know, but I just remember seeing this, this horrific-looking devil-like black dog creature-like thing with all this, like, slime and snot in his mouth and stuff, and these glowing red eyes scared the living bejesus out of me as a child, you know, uh, but eventually I got over it. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the movie now, uh, and then, like, all the Christmases after that was, like, just filled with like toys and upon toys of 
Ghostbusters that was put out by uh, Kenner, which is now defunct. Uh, they're, they're out of business. There's, there's no more Kenner. Um, but yeah, it, it was like Ghostbusters mayhem when I was a child, me and my brother. And I actually still have the original Firehouse, uh, an Ectomobile, uh, which is uh, Ecto-1, Ecto and all the action figures, uh, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, the Slimer, and everything. Now, none of them are men on card. Uh, you know, that that's you can forget that. I was a kid, so everything had to be opened. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I still have the firehouse and everything, which leads me to my next subject. Um, after I get done here with Target, I am going to go home and open the box that I have my uh, firehouse stored in for the first time in, oh, God, I don't know how many years. Uh, so I'm gonna do something like that and like I said what better day to do it than today uh, June 8th uh, 2009 25 years later when the movie actually came out so I'll do that go home and uh, unbox the firehouse see what we have and see what uh, figures we have inside I know the last time last time I saw it well my dad packed it up before for uh, we relocated but I think the last time I saw it I remember seeing a Winston Zedmore um, action figure in there and I think it still had the proton pack and the ghost, like the little plastic ghost toy that came with it. So hopefully that's that's still in there. But I, I know definitely I have to have the Ecmobile in there too. You know, but like I said, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna go home and unbox that. So um I'm gonna go inside Target now and uh return this shirt and hopefully I'll have some luck finding a uh extra extra large shirt. I mean, I'm not really that big. I don't, I don't wear a, a, a triple X shirt. Um, I think the biggest I go is like like an extra large, but I figured I'd buy an extra extra large at Target because like I said, they're notorious for their sizes being like two sizes smaller than what it's already, uh, what's already on the tag. So um, I'm gonna go in here and do that. But usually Target's customer service is very good. They, uh, they take care of their customers, so. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit and hopefully this won't be a, another 20 minute wait. <laughs> so long, see you in a little bit. Hey everybody, I'm back out of Target, and as usual and as expected, the uh, return was painless. <laughs> I went back to check to see if they had an, uh, a triple X uh, shirt. No go. So, oh well. I'll uh, have to look elsewhere, see what happens. I know I missed out on Hot Topics uh, Ghostbusters t shirt they had last year. It was really nice. Actually, a matter of fact, I saw this guy yesterday in Kmart, he had it on. I saw him walk in, and all I saw was the back of him. And the back of the shirt said, uh, who are you gonna call? So I was like, oh man, that's awesome. I gotta get that shirt. So I, uh, I stopped him and asked him, and he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, man. He says, I'm a Ghostbusters fan. He says, uh, I got the shirt from Hot Topic last year. I'm like, oh man, you gotta be kidding me, last year? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, no wonder I haven't seen it. So I missed out on that one too. Seemed like I missed out on everything Ghostbusters related. But uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to head home now. Like I said, I only had a few errands to do, and I'm done with them now. And uh, it's too hot to be mucksing around out here, so I'm on my way home, and I'm gonna uh, unbox that uh, Ghostbusters firehouse that I have in my uh, my storage box. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Uh, but yeah, if you can hear it, as you hear in the back, this is Laura Branigan, uh, "Hot Night." This is the song that was playing at Lewis Tully's party when he was in the apartment. Okay, who brought the dog? Yep, this is it, Laura Branigan. God rest her soul. Couldn't believe when she passed. Holy smokes. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm on my way home now, and uh, I'll uh, see you guys when I get there, okay?